Hey everybody, welcome back to the Kate D Show. So today I'm going to be talking a little bit about what's been going on with me. Um, I have been going through a lot of transformations, you may say. Um, <laughs> so I recently went on a detox and um, basically, um, <laughs> basically I thought I had... Um, I thought I had mercury poison or lead poisoning. I thought I had lead poisoning um, from Trader Joe's chocolate and then I thought I had COVID but then I just realized I needed a detox and I hadn't had my period in like 20 days and I think that has a lot to do with um, what's going on in the industry. Now I as I get older I, I tend I'm turning into my mother um, I think everything's wrong with me and I know it's just aging but um, when I went to Indonesia I had a lot of um, urinary issues it felt like Satan's hellfire was coming out of my urethra and <laughs> they couldn't diagnose me with like any STDs or anything like that and so there's been a lot of shit going on with um, the industry and um, Basically, TTS, talent testing, um, it's the testing that performers use to, um, to test, um, believe it or not, we're all just not, like, fucking, um, we're actually getting tested and everything is legit, this is a business transaction, and not like an escort, that's another story. Um, so... Basically, um, there was a type of chlamydia going around that talent testings, their chlamydia panel did not show up. It was, um, it's, a, it's a bacteria that is so small that can't be seen under the microscope. So then there was like, everybody was saying that it was clear. Uh, clear is another um, testing um, place and then there's talent testing and clear has the panel, but also neither one of them test for mitochondrial genitalium. I think I'm saying that right. Um, so either way, there's another STD that is in the pool that nobody's getting tested for. So I never got tested for it, but I did take the medication. I took a Z-Pack and then I'm on doxycycline and it seemed to uh, make my period come up. And that's like really concerning because um, I talked to a lot of performers and they're, um, they were tested positive and um, I guess when you get tested for it, it's two week, two weeks you'll get your results because it's, uh, they have to send it to a special lab because it cannot be seen under a mi microscope and they have to um, ferment it, no that's not the word, <laughs> they have to um, culture, culture it, they have to culture it. Well I didn't get tested for it but I'm pretty sure I had it and who knows how long that was in my body. Um, because I feel better now. I don't know if it's just, you know, um, homeopathic, what's it, what's it, a placebo? Oh my gosh, I cannot talk today. I don't know if it was a placebo or what's going on, but um, still, I'm not touching anybody until mycoplasma genitalium is on the panel. There's that with the, and then the chlamydia is only on the clear panel, and so, there's I just don't want to touch anybody like I, I I'm, I'm just gonna stick to solos until I can find a partner that wants to get tested for mycoplasma genitalium and does the clear panel that covers the special case of um, chlamydia I know fucking disgusting um, there's performers I've talked to that literally know all the details that I've told them and they don't care so why would I continue to work with performers that only care about their money and not their health. I want to have children someday, I want a big family, like I'm, I'm not going to scar my reproductive, my only reproductive um, organs for a couple bucks, like it's not going to happen, like that's way more important. Like when, when our ovaries dry up and we're old and senile and we have dementia and we're talking to the fucking walls. Who's gonna take care of us? A nurse? No, we want our, our family, that's why we have children. 
so they can take care of us while we wipe their, their butts when they're little. It's an even exchange. And I want people to take care of me. So I'm not gonna fucking risk that. No fucking way. Have a nurse like beating the shit out of me. Like, no. <laughs> and I, I've, I've literally seen like videos of like how um, elderly are treated at those facilities. And no, 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 not gonna happen. And then like, I don't care how long I've been in this business. I'm not like, I, I've, I've been reached, there's been a lot of performers that have reached out to me like wanting to do escorting things. And I was sex trafficked when I was 18. Um, and it, I just, I don't mess with that kind of stuff. And uh, it's sad to see all these girls, like they've been in the business for so long that that becomes normal to them, you know? Like, if you've been in the business for so long, it's like, oh, yeah, escorting, sure. But, like, if you think of your how your brain was when you came in, that was an absolute no, usually, you know? And so, it just, I, I don't care about how much money that kind of thing would make me. I'm just never going to do it. Never going to do it. Like, after being sex trafficked, like... A lot of these girls, like, and that's how you lose yourself, like, lose your soul, like, when, you, when you're available for a price, you know? And that's a big reason why I quit the business, you know? Like, I hate not being able to choose who I have sex with, um, the image I want to be portrayed as, and that's all. That's, that's my rant. When I had all this going on with my brain and... Um, I thought I had lead poisoning or mer yeah lead poisoning. I thought I had lead poisoning, so I went to the doctors and I had a really bad migraine, so they gave me an MRI, and um, the um, the results came back, and I have a partial absence of my septum plectium. Those are my results. So that means it's the it's the part of your brain that se it's like this. Um, it separates the left and the right hemisphere of your brain, and um, it's located near um, the pineal gland, and um, it makes a lot of sense because when I was younger, I had autism, and um, um, it was really bad. Like I had uh, learning disabilities, and a lot of people make fun of me because of my speech and how I am, but um, that's something I just don't talk about. Um, as I get older, people don't recognize it, but in school it was very apparent that I was different from everyone else. Um, I know that I am different from everybody else, and there's not just some... Well, there is something wrong with me. <laughs> but I'm missing a part of my brain that makes me different. And um, it makes sense because the symptoms are autism, um, ADHD symptoms. Um, I had jaundice as a, as a baby. Um, and, uh, it causes, it causes metabol um, your metabolism to either slow or grow. And when I was younger, I was so tiny. Uh, people thought I was anorexic, but it was just my metabolism. And that's because my pineal gland, um, is overactive. And that's, I think, another reason why I, um, I, I, I'm very spiritual and super natural because your pineal gland is supposed to be your the source molecule um, where DMT comes from. So mine is overactive, and it makes a lot of sense um, because I see like orbs and colors, and that's another thing that it um, affects your vision. Um, I could go blind someday, and it makes sense because like when I have like a really big orgasm, I do go blind. Uh, so, um, I just, everything's like, I'm, I'm figuring everything out about myself and, um, it's helping me grow a lot. Um, I've been doing a lot of reflecting and then with the detox, like I did the detox, um, Paragard, which is like a dewormer. They give it to dogs and stuff, but like I seen on TikTok that, um, if you take it, um, worms could come out. No worms came out, but I did detox a lot and um, black stuff came out of my skin. And overall, I just feel really good. And my body is no longer just craving sugar as soon as I wake up. 
it's um, it's telling me what I want to eat. Like I actually crave things that I like. I'm like I would like a salad. It's like who are you? <laughs> so the other day I was like craving bananas and like I don't even really like fruit. So it was um, it, it's definitely working. Um, and I'm just trying to heal my brain and my body and just become a good version of myself that um, I've neglected for a long time. And um, I think a part of it is, you know, just choosing what I want to create and what content I want to make and um, just not riddled with, um, you know, issues. So um, I hope you guys like this video and I look forward to creating more videos next week and I love you all. Please like and subscribe and check out all my social media at thekd.com. Thanks, bye.